Hello everyone, this is Figly Cacklevac, and welcome back to Pocket Mirror. Now, uh, the last episode, we have explored. You see, last Tuesday I won the Kingdom's Lottery and the- Okay, before we do this, uh, last episode we have got through a couple of places, and now we are in this room, uh, from the ballroom, so, let us continue then. So, you see, last Tuesday I won the Kingdom's Lottery and the Queen gave me a shiny coin to use on that machine around the corner, but I can't seem to be able to use it. Oh. Uh, so do you like me to do it for you? If you don't mind, I've hidden the coin behind, beneath my leaves. <laughs> yes, yes, it's that one. Use it, miss. I want to see what my prize is. Quite a shiny coin. Oh, something came out. What is it? What is it? Let's see. A fancy ribbon. No, it's a ribbon. A ribbon. <laughs> it's really cute. You don't like it? I do, but I'm a boy. I can't use my ribbon. I'm sorry, miss. It seems I can't claim my prize after all. Yes, you can. See? Doesn't look pretty on you, Mr. Pumpkin? It does? There are no mirrors here, so I can't tell. Leave that to me. <laughs> There's a thumbnail. Yo, wait, wait, I gotta capture this. How do I capture it? <laughs> oh, I missed it. You're right, miss. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Pumpkin. Okay. Oh. Great surprise. A uh, surprise. Great surprise awaits you in this room. Oh, great surprises. Locked shut. Also locked shut. Yep. Oh. Why, hello there, miss. Would you like to play a game with us? You scared me. What kind of game is it? Well, hello there. Would you like to play a game with us? Uh, all right. Tell me the answer to this next riddle and you will be highly rewarded. So if you come upon any trouble, don't hesitate to ask the ringmaster. Okay. At his own funeral, the Matthias sing, gathered by the open grave, his family of three. Father, mother, brother, and a couple more who didn't bother. What? At his own funeral, the Matthias C. gathered by the open grave, his family of three, father, mother, brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? I'm so confused, I just got stabbed. Three times, Mary poke my eye. Three times, did she make my cry? Now tell me, little girl, how many times did I wish for her to die? Three times? Oh, there are numbers on these things. Correct. Here's the next riddle. It's yellow, blue, red, and green. No one can reach it, not even the queen. What? Yellow, blue, red, and green. No one can reach it. Not it. Yellow, blue, red, and green. No one can reach it but the queen. Uh... Careful now, little girl! Ow! Yo, I'm almost dead! File 3. In case I need file 2. What? I'm so confused. To watch you in another life!
Hold up. I die in the first five minutes? What the heck? That's a new record, guys. Hold up. We're gonna, we're gonna try that again. Um, I'm gonna load from this. Okay, I'm gonna do this quickly, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are again. Not even the queen. Red, blue, yellow, green. Not even the queen can reach. No one can reach it. Not even the queen. What? I hate those despicable green midgets. Yellow, blue. Yellow, blue, red, and green. I'm gonna die again. I am pressed. Here's the next riddle. Katharina and Valentina. Katharina and Valentina were born on the 12th of September. One mysterious as the moon and one other cursed with short temper. On the day Valentina turned two, Katharina was half her age. Years have passed, filled with turmoil and a rage. The day she turned ten, Valentina remembered her sister with sorrow. How many years would I be her eldest that she lived another tomorrow? When she was two, Katharina was half her age, but she was one. Meaning she's nine. Where's the nine? Wait a second. Turn two, Katharina was half race. So Katharina was ready one. Turn ten, Valentina remembers her sister was sore. How many years would I be her eldest? She would still be one years older. There we go. Hmm. It's not as if you're correct or anything. Here's the next riddle. Having placed her five baked... I'm so sorry for this voice, but... Having placed her five baked dishes on a window ledge to cool, Mrs. Elizabeth headed out to town to buy pretty boxes and ribbons to wrap them up. Oh, well, that wasn't rhyming. Little did she know that while she was away, a robber had come and eaten two of them, followed by a stray dog who ate another one. Once Mrs. Elizabeth came back, she was gutted to know that the disaster had occurred. How many dishes were saved on that dreadful day? Five baked dishes. Robert came two, another one. So two left. What? Did you read that wrong? Oh, tartar sauce. I'll be right back again.
Okay, guys, I am back where I was uh, previously. So here's the next rail. Placed five big dishes. <laughs> Robert had come and eaten two of them, followed by Stray Dog, who ate one. Oh! Five dishes are still there. Right? Is that what they mean? Because it's not two. Two pies are left, but the five dishes are still there. Bingo! Here's the next riddle! I think that's what they wanted me to guess here. Two books rest on a shelf. One is upside down, the other is backwards. So tell me, little girl, what is the sum of the first page in each book? Two. Because that's all there's left. Small girl, big brains, here's the next riddle. On a dreadful night, illuminated by a bright full moon, where our love flourished like a flower in bloom. With a poisonous kiss on a warning crescent, did I take your essence in necrophagous ravishment? Fate in the following darkness, did I dig your grave? Putting you to rest in a final farewell, your body did I crave. On a waxy moon, I had my punishment. Between heaven and hell, did I dwell in confinement? This one is quite hard, isn't it? Try to recall the previous riddles you might. Why not? On a dreadful night, illuminated by my. Okay, I don't get it, but I'm gonna... Correct! Here's the final riddle! I just... I just assumed this four. I am all powerful and mighty, going through doors is my specialty. Many in these twisted halls will stand, but fear not, my girl, they have me in hand. For with a gentle touch can I undo the restraint casted upon you. Uh... A key. Good job, miss. I was like, actually gonna choose roasted chicken. <laughs> Good job, miss. You are the only, you are one truly smart little girl. As I promised, here's your award. Acquired a dazzling key. Thank you. Oh, I wouldn't know. I found it on the floor the other day. Okay, so I got a key. Miss? Yes? I have one more riddle for you. Would you care to listen? Sure. Go ahead. What gets broken without being held? Worry not, little girl. For that riddle answer does not belong to me. It belongs to you. Mister? Here's a little hint for the future. Be kind and caring, for your opponents will tend to be rather daring. Oh boy. Thanks for the hint, but what does that guy mean? Something broke. You can't. It, it can be held. It can't be held but broken. I don't even remember the riddle. I'm sure it'll come back to bite me in the butt. I'm positive. I'm positive that thing will come back to bite me in the butt because I don't know what I because I won't remember the riddle. Okay, uh... It's gonna let me know if I have to use the key, right? So where? Oh, never mind. Thanks for the pumpkin charm made outfits. 
Have you heard the rumors? They say Mrs. Fox has slipped into an internal slumber due to what happened. Oh, I love stories with unhappy endings. What a horrible thing to say. Really, what is a horrible thing to say? They always tell me to turn around when they're changing clothes. It's so unfair. Ha. Huh. Uh, okay. Well, when are we... They're moving. I better not. Oops. Didn't mean to click go through. Did I choose right or did I just die? I chose right, right? We'll never know. What's going on here? Uh, hold up. I'm uh, I'm gonna go save. I'm gonna not go save. Thank you all. Wait. Thank you all. What was her voice? Thank you all for attending this very special ceremony. You have given. You have all given your best. But as you know, only one of you can become my favorite couple. All the others who don't make it must be. It will be. What? All the others who don't make it will be executed. <laughs> who dares interrupt my ceremony? I'm just... Silence! Who are you? Where did you come from? What are you doing at my ceremony? I'm just looking for something. Oh? And what might that thing be? Uh, I'm looking for... That's probably a bad thing to say. Something I lost. I see. That's unfortunate. Take a seat, my girl. I will let you look for whatever it is that you've lost after the ceremony. Thank you. Now, I shall announce the winning couple. Which is... Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox. Wait, aren't they all Mrs. R aren't they all Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox? Congratulations to the winner. You may step aside. As for the rest of you, Failures, you shall be executed. She can't just murder everyone. Soldiers, march. <laughs> Wait. Very well, my servants. You have served me well. No. Time for tea. As for you, clean up this mess before leaving with you. Or else. Yes, I will. You do not want to dance like they am, brother. Uh. <laughs> Thanks. The couple's bodies lying torn apart. Their expression forever frozen in the moment of terror before felt before their executions. This is horrible. 
pitch black stuffing slowly oozes from the dancer's wound, staining that once shiny fur. Ah, oh. yo. Is this necessary? I mean, did they know they were gonna die? Okay. Well, that's dark. Okay. Huh. Well, time to explore a little bit more then. I'm sure Mr. Rabbit and Miss Fox won't care about where their bodies came from. What am I supposed to do? Uh, can I just leave? Wait a second. What? 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 Did I just... Was that another dimension? Did I just time travel? No way. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's go save. So, I just witnessed the future or the past. Is that the past or future? Because they're all foxes and rabbits, so I have no idea if that's the past or future. With Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox. Let's go through here. Oh boy. Oh, I see. That's what you get. That's what you get. Did I choose wrong? What happened? Oh my lord. What? One of their hands came flying at me. It was so scary. Corpses. I'll just take that leg. It was quite a show, miss. You should have been here to watch. Oh my gosh. Yo. it won't open uh, well this was not what I was expecting
Don't you dare give me to the cards. <laughs> Is there anyone looking out for looking for me out there? I don't know. I desperately need your help. You're the only one who can help me. Alright. I need you to go outside and come back to tell me what's going on. Can you do that? I'll try. Yo. What the heck? Don't get in our way. These are Queen Egliot's orders. No, I'm just looking for uh, limbs. Don't worry. I'll be done soon enough. <coughs> I, I was just a little girl like yourself. Shouldn't be wandering around in a place like this. I'm sorry, I just we're looking for a fugitive dancers. Have you seen her by any chance? <laughs> Open this cabinet for me. All right. I got you. You're coming outside with me now. What are you doing? Let me go. What's all this ruckus? That's her. We found the murderer. Please let me go. Silence. This girl is now my hostage. Shoot me and she shall die as well. Please wait a moment. Oh my gosh. There's so many ways to die. Hold on. <laughs> well, we're gonna do that again, and this time we're not gonna lie to that god. So I will be right back. Okay. okay everyone I am back uh, I have talked to the fox and now this is the guard this time I'm going to tell because apparently I die if I don't inside the cabinet in the tea room guards you hurt her but please don't hurt her I don't want to go in here, but I think I have to. There you are, murderer! You traitor! Why did you get me in? I will never forgive you. Our work here is done, men. Let us go back to report to Queen Egliot. I'm sorry. No choice. Oh, so so I had to get her killed, right? Or else I wouldn't have got an arm. So I had to get her killed just to get the arm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. I've been scarred for life. 
but my mentality is pretty strong if I can survive all this uh, murder. If I'm not like going crazy with the murders, you know. I'm gonna call this girl Alice because I think she's like based off. I don't know that that one part where he's like the drinking the bottle and she shrinks. That reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. So, yep. We'll call her Alice for now, but we'll find out her real name later. Okay, why don't we go through here? Be strong, be brave. This looks, uh, interesting. Come closer, little girl, come closer. I have a big secret to tell you. What is it, Mrs. Pumpkin? I am actually a pumpkin. Well, why don't I take my Messer Ungabel and chop you up? Oh. <laughs> don't pay attention to that guy over here. Over there. He's, he thinks he's a comedian. What's going on here? Hey, you. And what might a young girl like yourself be doing here? Can't you see there's a very important investigation going on right now? Oh, I I'm sorry. I was just... Well, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Tell me now, what... Do you know how to read? Yes, I do. Great. Then could you ple please read this riddle for me? I killed not one, but eight in pairs of two. Clap your hands and you'll be able to see through. That detective is pretty ignorant. He will never see the answer. Kisses and hugs from the ultimate best dancer. What was that? Who wrote this rail? Did you read it wrong, you foul-mouthed girl? No, I read exactly what was written here. You know what? I have better things to do than plain detective. Guards, execute them both. I want to go home. No, wait. What kind of detective can't read? Good job, guards. Our work here is done. As for you, girl, you can have this. Okay. Um, why don't we just uh, quickly search up some bodies, get some, you know, limbs. Something, you know... That's what normal people do in these days. Just gather some limbs from dead foxes and rabbits. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't think I can gather any of these materials, though. Nothing. Interesting. I probably missed something. There's probably something that I could have got. Okay. Now we're back. I got the bloody bag that must have some limbs in it. Well, I don't know why I save for now. Saving a file too. Why do I keep running that far? What's in this bloody bag? Okay. 
Tell me, do you know how to sew? <laughs> yes, I do. Would you please sew us back together? I wish you'd be reunited with Mrs. Fox. Okay, so. We take this needle and thread. I'll sew you first, Mr. Rabbit. Please do, miss. There we go. Why, yes, indeed I can. That's a relief. I'm so glad. Let's sew Mrs. Fox next. Yes. I feel like this is a bad idea. I wonder if she'll wake up now. M Mr. Rabbit? Mrs. Fox, I'm so happy you're all right. I'm so glad. Thank you, Miss. We owe you everything. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad you two can dance again. Here, you can have this. I've kept it since the day the others ripped our bodies apart. Yay, special key. That is the key to the theater. I'm sure it will come in handy. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. Now, Mrs. Fox, would you give me this dance? Yes. I'm so happy I could help them. And I can just I can just picture them dying. I'm pretty sure they're gonna get killed. I'm gonna go to the theater. I'm gonna come out of that theater and I'm gonna find them all dead. Either that or they're actually murderers, right? Look at them dancing spectacularly. Use this key. Thank you. Off to the theater we go. Okay. I guess I'll sit down. You're welcome. To the most incredible of shows, uh, the most amazing and impressive prose of a little girl whose days were counted with none of her wishes ever being granted. <laughs> Aren't I an impressive poet? Who are you? Don't trouble yourself with petty questions, Miss. But do enjoy your stay in place. <laughs> Keep your memories close to your heart. Once upon a time, in a very special garden, there was a very special little girl. She took naps outside in the afternoon doing nothing at all. Such an adorable little slob. In fact, she was such a privileged little girl, she had her very own mountain of sweets. But that's not all. Iglet, her best of friends, never left her side. Just like sisters from the same mother. Aha, I'm hilarious. A noisy little brat and her stuffed doll. Together, they were a riot. Known all over the kingdom as the Supreme Rulers. Or just two little silly kids, I don't know, silly little monsters they were. They told each other many secrets, even embarrassing ones. Tea time was a very important event, where they discussed which was the funniest pumpkin in the kingdom, for example. They also had many special cake parties. Eglitz was indeed Flitta's best friend. She was also stuffed with the girl's childish way. One day, however, it started to rain, preventing Flitta from leaving the house. What a shame. In fact, Fletcher's house was a secret place, so secret no one could ever visit it. Nevertheless, the intelligent girl she is, Fletcher decided to wander anyway. It's not as if a little rain could keep them from having fun. Inside the very secret room was a very secret letter. What could be written in the most amazing secret letter? Oh my gosh, this is really fast. Filled with lies, just a good reverend and all these lies. What are all these lies doing in this room? Oh my. That's right. There's no way Fletcher could have been involved in such despicable affairs. Fletcher was nothing but a pure little girl. There was no way it could have been Fletcher's fault. Simply because there was a very clear culprit. It was all that means girl fault. 
the name of that very evil culprit is. Oh my, things have gotten very interesting. Ta ta. What's going on? What the heck? I can climb a bookshelf. Oh, that was in the mind. Well, looking around, uh, a little bit of exploration. Nothing too special. Quite a show, wasn't it? Indeed. Well, time to head out. <laughs> Mr. Rabbit, what happened? Isn't it obvious, dearie? We took care of them. You don't mean you've done this yourselves, do you? Why, yes, we have. Wasn't our work done quite beautifully? But why? I thought you all wanted to dance again. All you wanted was to dance again. Oh, sweetie. You have yet much to learn. And apparently hatred is still one of those things. How, how could you do something like this? How could we? You're all aware of what they've done to us, are you not, miss? T that still, this still doesn't justify what you've done. How doesn't it justify? Revenge, my dear, is the dish best served cold. Do you understand? Now move along. We are very grateful for your good deeds towards us. After all, we owe you our most pure satisfaction. <laughs> this can't be. You know, I called it. I knew it wouldn't be such pleasant tree. Oh my. Hello, pumpkin. Nah. Uh, I can't save. Where do I go? Oh no, I'm allergic to cats. Yo. Ha. You have cat ears too. That's hilarious. The queen is waiting. The queen is awaiting you. The queen is awaiting you. The queen is awaiting you. Thank you. Oh, it's a music box. What might be troubling you, little girl? I don't know, mister. And what might not what might you not know, little girl? I don't know why would they do something like that. I see. Listen, miss. Our existence is no matter how faint they might be. They do serve a purpose and will. Purpose and will, in one way or another, affect your own. I, I see. You can have this. I think it might cheer you up a little. Unfortunately, I can't accompany you on your journey. But I'm sure this will be able to reassure you in times of distress. Thank you, mister. You're very kind. Okay, guys. Well... After the murder at the dance party, I think we will be ending our gameplay for today here. Now, I'm hoping we're getting to the halfway point of the story. If not, uh, just let me know how far I'm actually in the game. I, I, I'm assuming we're almost at the halfway point, but if it's something like Doki Doki, it's a long time. So, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I sure am. I'm enjoying this game a lot, uh, and there are a lot of, a lot of good stuff going on. You know, I mean, not like good, good stuff. I mean, the, it's good story and all that stuff, and the, all the elements of the game is very good. But I mean, like more moral good kind of thing, like, uh, whatever. Anyway, this is Figly Cackleback signing out.